I had another experience on um, on Saturday. I worked on Saturday. I worked an event, and it was going to be from eight thirty in the morning until ten at night. And I that night um, I woke up in the middle of the night. For I have no idea why, at one in the morning, and could not go back to sleep until three. And so I was really tired by the time I got there at eight in the morning. And so I was just doing the work, doing my work, doing my work. And then by the time dinner came around, I asked them to bring me dinner. And so I ordered a low calorie dinner and I had, um, my low calorie dinner came and, and then I looked in the bag and there was a bag of warm and crusty daily grill sourdough bread with butter. And this is one of my favorite things. It was like a quarter of a loaf. And I thought, why is this here? And and then I thought, I want to eat this. And then I thought, no, you can't. You're on this diet. And I no, I'm, I want to eat this. And then I'm going to eat this. So I ate like the portion for the low calorie diet of the dinner. And then I proceeded to eat f four out of five pieces of the bread and all of the butter, about two tablespoons of butter. And I was telling myself all of the reasons why. Well, you're tired. Well, you're, you're, you know, you've been working all day and you didn't get sleep last night. Well, um, it's okay because, you know, you'll just go right back on your regime tomorrow. And so I was just going on and on and on, back and forth and back and forth. And then I just ate and I ate and I ate. And then um, the next morning after doing the breathing and the, and the, um, the bath and the breathing, I started to, to read um, more about chapter eight. And then this is a part where I wanted to share with you. It, I came to a point where it was talking about anger and arrogance. And, and, I, and every time I read about anger or forgiving or blaming others, I, I have gotten to the point where I don't really do that. I've stopped blaming people and, and needing to forgive others. But there's a definite blame and forgiveness that needs to happen with myself. And the other thing is anger. Anger and I have not had a very good relationship. <laughs> I've kind of ignored anger in the past. And, I, and in the 80s, I went to a couple of workshop things and people would look at me and say, you're angry. And I'm thinking, I'm not angry. I'm the nicest person you're ever going to meet, you know? Oh no, I'm a really nice person. I'm not angry. And, and so I just wasn't aware of this anger. And I did some anger work back in the 90s, you know, the pounding of the pillows and screaming, no, no, no. And I did all of that. And so when I came to the, I've been resisting reading this chapter about I forgive myself. And so I came to this anger part and I immediately, th and blaming others, and I immediately thought, this isn't me. This isn't my problem. And then it came to this um, part about as adults were masters of hold of um, hiding in our internal condition. We're masters of hiding our internal condition. And then suddenly it dawned on me about the bread last night or the night before about the bread. Oh my God, I almost could hear the child's voice saying, they said that we could go home. You didn't need to stay till 10 o'clock you found out before dinner that you could have gone home and I was tired and you don't take care of me. And then, and then, and it was more than that. It was F you, F you, you effing bitch. I'm going to eat this. I'm going to eat this effing bread and I'm, and, I'm, and you're going to, I'm going to ruin your effing diet. You know, it was like, Oh, <laughs> so do I think there's some anger there? Yeah. So there's anger. Um, and, and, and it's the child that wasn't getting what she needed and I wasn't giving it to her. I was putting everybody ahead of her. I was putting everybody ahead of me. And, and even now, just I feel it even now just saying that. <sighs> so I integrate the charged emotion of that. And... And so I, so I just wanted to share that with you because it's um, not eating. Um, it was so interesting. After the, so, so after the next day, I, 
I, um, you know, I, after I did the reading, um, and then I went and I decided that I was going to see, okay, realistically, how many calories did I consume? Since I'm tracking my calories for the diet, I thought I might as well see how many calories were in four pieces of daily grill, sourdough bread, and two tablespoons of butter. And when I added the whole thing up, I had... I didn't have too many calories for the day. Basically, a normal dieting person on a healthy diet where you're losing at a, at a slow, steady pace would eat that many calories for that for the day. And so I, um, and, and then I realized, hey, I could, I could kind of balance this and look at it for the week and, um, and then even eat less, you know, and balance out so that within the week, I'm going to average the same amount. And I did that. The next day I ate less and, um, and, and I'm just balancing it out for the week. So that was a really interesting way to, to do this because on this particular low calorie regime, which is the one I used to lose 100 pounds three years ago, I kept trying to get back on it. Every time I tried to get back on it, I would blow the diet for some reason or another and then eventually I just wouldn't be on it anymore. And, and this time I blew the diet, but the responsible, accountable adult who now is, is present because of the presence process found a way to work it out and to stay accountable. And, and it, I don't feel like I'm, um, I don't feel like I'm being deprived. I feel really happy. I feel really safe. I feel like I'm taking care of myself. And, and that's, um, and that's really the goal. So, so thank you.